Welcome to Electron Line. There's one more thing that is key to understanding how to use Gauss's law, and that is where do you actually place the surface. Now, we've mentioned it before in earlier videos, but I wanted to really point this out very, very strongly. Let's say we have a point charge, and I want to know the electric field strength at that particular location. Well, what if I draw a Gaussian surface like this? Would that help me? And the answer is no, because the Gaussian surface must go through the point of interest where I want to know the electric field strength. So that Gaussian surface would not do me any good. So that's not a good Gaussian surface. The Gaussian surface must meet the three rules that we saw in the previous video, plus it must go through the point of interest. So in this case, the Gaussian surface must look like this, in such a way that the radius of the Gaussian surface is equal to the distance from the charge to the point where I want to know the electric field strength. And then I use the equation that E times A is equal to Q inside divided by epsilon sub naught. And of course, we know that A can be written as 4 pi R squared equals Q inside divided by epsilon sub naught. And then we realize that the radius of the Gaussian surface is the distance to the point of interest where we want to know the electric field strength. The same with a linear charge distribution, if I want to know the field strength there, and I draw a Gaussian surface that looks like this, that's not going to help me because the Gaussian surface must go to the point of interest, so that's not a good choice for a Gaussian surface. Instead, what we need to do is draw a cylindrical shaped Gaussian surface in such a way that the cylinder, the edge of the cylinder, will go right through the point where we want to know the, the strength of the electric field. And so this is what it would look like in the front. We can see here that the charge distribution is right smack in the middle of the cylinder, but the edge, the surface, must be right where we want to know the strength of the electric field. And of course, the strength would be pointing directly outward. E, like this, is equal to the direction would be radially outward, and the strength will be found by saying that E times A is equal to Q inside divided by epsilon sub naught. And in a later video, we'll show you how to use this equation to find the surface area of the, the Gaussian surface. But again, the key that I wanted to point out here is that the surface better go to the point where you want to know the strength of the electric field. And that's how it's done.